Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we are going to cover five reasons why you should become an ethical hacker. And the first reason is the learning opportunities are endless. There is network hacking, web attacks, cloud attacks, and social engineering. And there is so much within the world of cybersecurity for you to learn about that it should never get boring. And this can be both a positive and a negative because you're never going to be able to master the entire world of cybersecurity but you can get pretty good in different areas. And then whenever you get bored, you can always choose to learn something else within the niche of cybersecurity. And number two, the threats of cybersecurity never go away. And this is going to mean you're gonna have a job security if you choose to move into this field. There will always be a position for you to work at, and so there will always be threats, and there's always going to be new information around those threats to be learning and staying up to date. Number three is probably one of my favorites, and that is you get to hack on other people's systems, and it is legal. So you can become employed and be given targets within a scope that you can attack, and you don't go to jail for it, which is pretty cool. Along with this, you can also do CTFs, capture the flags, and other game style hacking. And you can do this with your friends, and it is something that you can do in a community, and so you're not just alone hacking all by yourself. And the fact that you can take a hobby and something you like to do for fun and turn it into a career is also really cool. And number four is kind of a subcategory of learning to become an ethical hacker, and that is you're probably gonna have to learn a programming language. And knowing a programming language is kind of like having a superpower in and of itself. My wife is an accountant and she has to deal with giant spreadsheets. And just a few days ago, she was complaining that every month this one client has a spreadsheet that they send her with about 10,000 different transactions. And it takes her all day to sort all those out find all of the totals and figure out what exactly is going on inside the spreadsheet. I asked her to just send me the spreadsheet and tell me what she wanted done. I spent a few hours writing a program. It goes through all 10,000 transactions, adds all of the totals together for each different category and sorts it exactly like she wants. And it takes less than two seconds to run and sort through all 10,000 transactions. And now she can use this program every single month to sort those transactions. And so programming is like a superpower. It is something that's going to come in handy outside of just ethical hacking. It is useful in just a daily life. And number five is because it's fun. I personally really enjoy CTFs and just doing hack the box or try hack me or other capture the flag events and challenges. Those to me are just a lot of fun. And so I like, the world of cybersecurity because it can be turned into a game. So I want to give you a bonus and the bonus is a reason not to go into cybersecurity and it's one that really annoys me when I hear it. I often hear people say that they want to go into cybersecurity because you can make a lot of money or because it sounds cool when somebody asks you what your job is and you say you're a hacker and these are really narcissistic reasons to go into the field and if these are your reasons I personally would just say don't do it because in 500 years when you're dead and they're dead and we're all dead it's not really going to matter how much money you made and it's not really going to matter when people asked you what kind of job you had that you had a cool answer what is going to matter is did you genuinely enjoy your job did you genuinely enjoy what you did for a living and did that make you happy if you're going into a field because you think it's going to make you a lot of money or it sounds cool that's not a very good reason and i bet at the end of your life you're going to regret it i have a friend whose grandfather recently passed away and he died a multi-millionaire in his early 90s and he worked his entire life to make this money he sacrificed his family he sacrificed his marriage and my friend asked his grandpa are you happy with your life? If you could have done it over, what would you do? And he said, my life was wasted and it wasn't worth it. If I could do it all over again, I would be a bum. And this to me was really telling that if you're doing something for money or you're doing it because you think it's gonna be cool, that at the end of your life, you will regret it. So if cybersecurity is not your passion and it's not something you like to do just for fun, then I would say don't make it into a career. Thanks for watching.